So Global Cyber Alliance is a non-for-profit international organization whose mission is to identify and eliminate global systemic cyber risk. And we do that by bringing communities together, providing and creating solutions and making those solutions available to everyone around the globe, whether they are a member of Global Cyber Alliance or not. We want to make sure that everyone has a right to get access to the right solutions that gives them the base level protection from the everyday cyber risks. In order to be a solution farm, first you need to take all the territorial bones out of your body. So we don't have a territorial bone in our body and if there is a solution for a problem that we are trying to solve, we want to make sure that the owner of that solution gets full credit. And to achieve that, we bring the communities together. We have a two general bodies that drive Global Cyber Alliance. We have a technical advisory committee that consists of global cybersecurity experts. And we have strategic advisory committee that are mostly C-level executives who look at the problem from the business perspective. And whenever we identify a solution, we bring it to them and we say, well, this is the problem we are trying to solve. Here is the solution we think that can address it. Does this make sense? And we get input from them because, as you know, especially technical uh, folks are not shy to speak their mind. And, and we love that. We want people to critique it. We want people to tell us what the downsides are. And we have one rule. Tell us how we can make it better. And as long as they can do that, we take that input, give it to our developers, and they uh, mold that solution into, a, into a, a product that actually works and that is accept, accepted by the larger global cyber community. Some of the solutions that we are working on are uh, addressing the issue around phishing. Because as you know, for the last 15 years, we are dealing with the same problem. Uh, most of the successful cyber attacks originate through phishing. And uh, we haven't really made a good headway. Uh, surprisingly, there are solutions that are available that most organizations are not adapting. And one of these solutions are DMARC, which basically adds an authentication to an email system that enables the, the organization to protect their identity, protect their brand, and increase their co uh, co consumer's confidence. And uh, this is a solution that is freely available. But when we talked to the community, they told us that uh, either they had no idea that this was available or they thought that it was too complex to implement. So as Global Cyber Alliance, we took the task of easing that implementation task. We created a wizard that is on our website called uh, dmark.globalcyberalliance.org. You go to that website, you put in your domain, and it asks you a series of questions. And as you answer those questions, it builds the policies that you need to push out. And then at the end, this, this really is as easy as an easy button. You just click copy, take that policy, and put it in your DNS server, and you have your DMARC compliant mail server. The second solution that we are working on is a, a global ANICAS recursive DNS infrastructure. And with that, I, and this project actually is extremely in line with a Global Cyber Alliance uh, methodology and, and spirit because we partnered with global uh, threat intel providers and convinced them to give us threat intelligence data. We partnered with an organization called Packet Clearing House to build us a global Anycast a DNS infrastructure. And when we put those things together, we have this solution that is available to everyone. It literally takes five minutes for organizations to take advantage of it without implementing any hardware or software in their networks. And it gives them access to currently 18 different threat intelligence sources that we are incorporating. And as days go on, more organizations are joining. And probably by November, we are going to have at least 20 different threat intel feeds coming into this infrastructure. And the best thing about this infrastructure is it is privacy preserving. We do not keep the source IP address of the users. And none of the data that is collected is used for advertising, marketing, or any commercial purposes. It is strictly for bettering the internet and bettering the security posture of the consumers around the world. So a Global Cyber Alliance is a non-for-profit international organization that is funded by donations and asset forfeiture money. So our initial seed money came from 
asset forfeitures of District Attorney of Manhattan, who gave us an angel investment to start this initiative. But now we are actually going around and talking to other philanthropic organizations and having them donate us money so that we can continue this effort. Uh, one thing that Global Cyber Alliance is successfully doing is running a transparent organization. So uh, we say that no question is left unanswered, whether it's an operational question or it's a technical question. Just tell us or ask us how we do what we do and we will tell you exactly how we are doing it. And if you think that we can do it better in some ways, we will take that advice. But we are also talking to other uh, organizations or the other non-for-profit organizations whose mission is to protect the privacy of the users, protect the neutrality of the internet. And we are asking them to come and audit us, look at our infrastructure, look at our paperwork, and give us your stamp of approval saying that yes, Global Cyber Alliance is doing what they say they are doing. And the last thing is uh, we whenever we create a solution and we make the solution available to people around the world, we make sure that we have a measurable sort of uh, aspect of that solution. So we don't want to be another non-for-profit organization who is just doing something, patting each other in the back and saying, yep, you know, we are doing awesome. No, we want to be able to measure our impact. And that is one of the criteria that, that we set ourselves uh, to have when we develop a solution. When we develop a solution and we make that solution available to everyone, uh, we work with communities such as APNEC to push that solution out to their communities. Uh, one thing that we are doing is uh, working with LAPNIC, working with AFNIC, working with uh, FIRST to reach out to their members and saying, here are the solutions that are available, here are the webinars, here are the educational material, and if you want to take advantage of it, you know, here is the website, go and take advantage of it. So uh, I think the one thing that we, we would want APNIC to take on is just uh, get the word out and uh, tell people that these solutions are available completely free and it is going to make their security posture better.